Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It's the weekend, so let's do the whole doggone thing. Saturday, the 27th day of January is Do For Your Country Day. Earned Income Tax Credit Awareness Day, International Day of Commemoration in Memory of the Victims of the Holocaust Day, uh, also known as Holocaust Remembrance Day, National Big Wig Day, Chocolate Cake Day, Punch the Clock Day, and Vietnam Peace Day. All of those things happening on Saturday. Sunday the 28th, Daisy Day, Global Communication Engagement Day, Data Privacy Day, International Lego Day, National Blueberry Pancake Day, National Have Fun at Work Day, National Kazoo Day, also Pop Art Day, Thank a Plug-in Developer Day, Rattlesnake Roundup Day, and uh, what else is there? National Gift of the Ladybug Day. All of those things happening this weekend. It's a busy weekend. And Matt Browning is our guest. He is a police officer who's now done a documentary series called The Secrets of Polygamy. We're going to chat with him all about that coming up. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows, you might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Long been reported that spending excessive amounts of time online or on your phone is linked to lower levels of mental health and dissatisfaction in relationship. But a new Canadian report says there is a sweet spot regarding how long you should be on digital technology without causing much of an impact. Do you want to know how much that is, honey? Sure. It says people who spend less than 10 hours weekly watching online content report having very good or excellent mental health at a rate of 16% higher than those who watch content for 20 or more hours per week. Gosh, 20 or more hours. So 10 hours weekly or 20 hours a weekly. I also found those who take a break from the internet are much more likely to report very good mental health. So things I just learned on the internet tell me that I should not be on the internet. (laughs) Does that seem odd to you? I agree with it. Yeah, there are times that I'll take a break, not because I have to, but because I'm busy with other stuff. And then I realize, wow, I got a lot more done this week. All right, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with InsuranceChicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from InsuranceChicken.com? That's InsuranceChicken.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know that last week Kraft announced they're going to launch not one, not two, but three new Kraft Singles flavors for the first time in nearly a decade? Oh, that's Jalapeno, a big week. <laughs> garlic and herb, and caramelized onion. The company yeah. says the tantalizing new flavors will elevate any ordinary sandwich into irresistible culinary delights. Really? It will? <laughs> okay. Last time Kraft Singles launched a new flavor was when Sharp Cheddar and Pepper Jack Slices were introduced about a decade ago. The new flavors will be available by the end of the month. So okay. they're coming, coming soon to a, a grocery cooler, I suppose, near you. Do those flavors sound like something that you think sound good? No, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I guess I'd have to try it on one and see. I don't I know. Suppose. It, I suppose. I think that... I don't think the caramelized onion one sounds good. And I like onion, but... And I don't. So yeah. I'm glad that you don't like those. I would hate to accidentally eat that instead of, you know, some <laughs> delicious craft regular cheese. <laughs> we don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. L. King's tribute to Dolly Parton did not hit the right note with fans. Uh, she was at the Grand Ole Opry as part of uh, Dolly Parton's 78th birthday tribute, and the Opry had to apologize online for the language used. She oh. forgot some lyrics, and then she swore. Oh. 
And they're like, oh, we're no. really sorry about what happened. <laughs> and and when she swore, she said, don't tell Dolly. So uh, <laughs> one of Disney's signature comedies, Wizards of Waverly Place, is getting a sequel. I so saw be this. Back. I used, our kids used to love that show. Dave and Henry I actually kind of liked it, will too. will reprise his role. I've had him on the program. Very nice guy. And Sarah Jessica Parker's character on Sex and the City, Carrie Bradshaw, often left us wondering how she could afford a closet full of designer duds on a writer's salary. One item that did fit a modest budget, though, was uh, skyrocketing in value now, selling at an auction for a whopping 10,000 times its original price. Whoa. The white tiered tutu worn in the opening segment of the show. Okay. So it's going to be on bid. Um, I'm going to look and see if it says when. I don't know when. I don't have a link to the bid either. So That's I don't okay. Know. I don't plan on bidding. Okay. So, well, that's sorry. good to know. Big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a Mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Hyundai is fulfilling the dream of every teenager who never quite learned how to parallel park in driving school. Mm. Why are you looking at me? I can do it. I just don't like to do it. Here's the thing, though. Can you? I can. I don't know if I believe you, because I remember you were backing I up. I learned in driver's ed. You were backing up a vehicle ahead once <laughs> you smashed into a dumpster. Remember that? <laughs> It was dark. I didn't see it. The dumpster was black. It was dark green. But yeah, it was. <laughs> I think that was partially the dumpster's fault. The dumpster was just sitting there doing nothing. It's his fault. Uh, so the car maker, again, Hyundai, is uh, unveiled. They have unveiled already a car that can turn its wheels 90 degrees. Oh. So selecting a spot, drivers of the new Hyundai Mobicon, or uh, Mobion, M-O-B-I-O-N. How would you say that? Mobion? Okay. They simply <laughs> press a button and an automated function sees the electric four-door crab walk into a spot. Oh, my gosh. How? <laughs> well, rather than having one central electric motor, engineers created uh, with one small individual motor for each wheel. This design allows them to incorporate suspension, braking, and turning and everything into each wheel individually. As a result, the Mobion, M-O-B-I-O-N, can also drive diagonally... Why would you want to do that? That doesn't seem like something you'd want to do. Doesn't seem safe either. It can also turn on a dime with 180 degrees, so it can literally turn into a circle of zero centimeters beyond the front and back bumper. That would be weird. Mm-hmm. I had this again as a Hyundai, uh, and it is a M O B I O N. I had a Honda Prelude four wheel steering. It was a 1989 Honda Prelude, and when you turned, the back wheels turned just a little bit. And you wouldn't think that would make a difference because it didn't turn as much as the front wheels, but it did. When you would turn a corner, like the back of the car would turn with you, it was kind of weird. It's hard to get used to. Yeah, I don't think I'd like that. Yeah, it was, well, I didn't have it very long. (laughs) All right, your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Matt Browning is our guest today. He's got a program on A and E called "The Secrets of Polygamy." It's a bit of an eye opener, Matt. Oh, it's been it's definitely been an eye opener. I hope it's an eye opener for everybody that tunes in. Now, as people are watching this program, that's quite shocking and very surprising for us. Now, you have worked in this field as an undercover officer for years. As an undercover officer with plenty of years of experience, what was the most surprising thing for you during the making of this? Well, I think some of the most surprising things is to hear that grown men, adult men, men in their 50s and 60s are, are marrying girls that are as young as 12, 11 years old because God told them to. There's incest, there's frauds, there's criminal activity. In the history of one organization, there's murders. There's all kinds of things that if you are involved in or if you if you like to learn about just the cultish societies, this is what they are. 
pick a topic, and I'm sure we're going to be talking about it. And this is something that's been going on for quite some time now, isn't it? The practice of polygamy? Yeah, it's it's been going on for, for quite some time in, in different, you know, it's, it's we're not concentrating just on one organization. We're, we're, we're talking about the FLDS, the Fundamentalist Latter-day Saints. We're talking about the Kingstons out of Utah, the Order. You know, we, we talk some about the AUB. So there's a lot of different organizations and in, in religions or offshoots that we'll be hitting on. And, you know, we want the, we want the viewers to decide how they want to react to this information. What, what is it that, that we as the, you know, we put the show together because we want people to know that this is going on. And honestly, you know, we need to stop the trafficking of young women and children in the United States. And that's what's going on. Now, Matt, you've spent much of your career undercover. Now you're on television. How different is it when you don't want anybody to know who you are to now all of a sudden you're on TV? You know, it was a it was a hard thing to do at first because working as an undercover officer, I didn't want people to know who I was. I didn't want people to, to turn around and see me there. But doing, you know, it's, it makes it kind of difficult at times trying to do what I do with the camera over my shoulder or interview people. But I tell you what, it's, it's, it's transitioned. It's the camera is actually helping in the whole process. Being, being with the show has been a great experience, not just for me, but for the women who have survived these organizations, they get the word out. And if I whatever I can do to get the word out, I think is the best thing. Absolutely. Now, when you were undercover, you're talking to people one-on-one. When you are doing a television program, it's you plus a camera crew. So how does that change the scenario? You know, it, it's really a team effort. My wife, Tani, and I, Tani does an amazing job in, in talking to these women because you, you're right, it could be difficult. Here comes a man who in, to talk to them, and, and they've already been pushed down by men, told them that, that their only purpose in life is to have children for God. And so, you know, at times their, their opinion on men isn't, isn't really good, which is understandable. And what, what happens is, you know, Tani talks to them, and I think that, that they develop this bond and love and trust between each other. And then, then I talk and I, I delve into like the investigative side of things and how to expose what's going on. And I think it just works really good together. If there's no way in the world I could do this by myself, it's, it's, you have to have that, that link between I'm the investigator, I'm looking for the crimes. And then, and then Tani goes in as and gives him a hug and says, hey, everything's going to be all right. How are your kids? What's going on with your, you know, how is your mental state? And, and so that's how we work it. And when you have former members helping you, that's got to be a big help, too. Oh, I tell you what, as, as many, many years working in law enforcement, I know that I couldn't do this job without, without people on the inside wanting to help and, and, and bring things out. And we have the sh- the name of the names of the people is just the show that aired last on uh, Monday. You know, we had Rachel Jeffs, an amazing, an amazing woman who, who really, I mean, it's Warren Jeffs' daughter. She knows what's going on. You had Faith Beisline, who her whole family was, was sucked into this whole thing with Sam Bateman. You know, and it's just, you got to have these people on the inside that can, I haven't been there, and they have. And they shed that that information and that knowledge with us. Matt Browning has been our guest. Matt, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Again, the show is called Secrets of Polygamy. It's on A&E Monday nights. I've got all the details in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows? You might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Cheese was created over 4,000 years ago by accident. So really? So we're going to talk about more cheese stuff because we had a big announcement from Kraft with like new cheese things. So another fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? It takes 10 pounds of milk to make just one pound of cheese. I am a fan. I love uh-huh. cheese. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? More than 2,000 varieties of cheese are available worldwide. What is the most favorite one, do you think? Cheddar. Mozzarella. Think about uh, how much pizza, yeah, pizza is out there, Heidi. 
Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? If a cheese is named after a city, it's capitalized. Examples are Asiago, oh. Brie, Cambrai, Gouda, and Parmesan. Oh. I didn't know most of those were cities. I didn't either. <laughs> and uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Mice don't particularly like cheese. They prefer sweets and carbs. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? It's not cheese, but tater tots originally failed because people thought the product was too cheap. Popularity rose after the price was raised. So they increased the price and then people bought it. I which think we've talked about weird, that. Weird story. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with insurancechicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from insurancechicken.com? That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question, Heidi. 19% of us will say this to somebody each morning. What is it? I love you. That I is a good thank you. I love you too. But what do they say? <laughs> yeah, that is correct. I love you. 19% of us say I love you to somebody every morning. And I say that to you. I try to do it every most, morning. Most mornings. Some mornings I, I don't. I'm like, oh, I'm so mad at you. <laughs> do you want some coffee, though? <laughs> Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint at just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a Mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. An Indian man who had been pronounced dead came back to life in an ambulance transporting him home when they hit a pothole. We, we talked, talked about this. about this. So... This is the coolest story, it, it really is. Did, did we did we talk about it? We read it we on the did. radio. I Do think we, we talk did. on the radio? Uh-huh. Oh. Well, I'll finish reading it because I don't have another weird news story now. Uh, he had not been feeling well. His grandson took him to the hospital. He was diagnosed with severe chest infection, which took a toll on a pre existing heart condition. Despite doctors' best efforts, he was pronounced dead after four days on a ventilator. But as friends and relatives gathered to mourn, the ambulance transporting his body home hit a giant pothole. Moments later, the grandson, who was with the body, saw the 80-year-old man move his hand. He checked for a pulse. Sensing one, he alerted the driver. Back at the hospital, doctors confirmed that he was very much alive and he is currently listed in critical condition. Why would they have taken a dead body home? I don't know. It's in India, so I don't know what the different, you know, I don't know how that Right, they may have different customs. I was going to say, that's interesting. uh, Yeah, that... Can you even imagine? <laughs> no. So this is the second time we talked <laughs> no. about this. I don't know if it was weird news last time or if it was good news, but either way, that's good news. And it's weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list brought to you by bettercreditcards.com, the world's top city destinations. These are places that people want to go. Which city, if I said the the city in the world that most people want to go to, I'm what do you think of? I'm assuming Paris. Well, let's find out how smart you are. What Should I guess, too? Sure. <laughs> well, you can see the list. Oh, yeah. That's going to it's gonna help me get Paris right, then. Uh, number 10 is London in the United Kingdom. Number 9, Barcelona, Spain. Number 8, New York City, United States. Uh, number 7, Rome, Italy. Number 6, Berlin, mm-hmm. Germany. Number 5, Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Number 4, Tokyo, Japan. Number three, Madrid, Spain. So this is the second one from Spain now. Barcelona, then Madrid. Number two, Dubai, United Arab Mm. Emirates. And the number one, according to this list, is Paris in France. And I suppose it's to go see the uh, the Eiffel Tower, which the funny thing is, they originally were going to build that somewhere else, and and they they didn't want it. It's supposedly so romantic, so I think that's why it's number one for a lot of women. I've never been, so maybe one of these days. The list, it's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. 
Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Our quote today is from Irma Bombeck. She always had such fun yeah, stuff. She, she says, when your mother asks, do you want a piece of advice? It's merely a formality. It doesn't matter if, <laughs> if you, you answer yes or, or no, you're, you're going to get it, it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Um, I love that. And and it's not just mom. If your dad asks, that's the same thing. I also, I'm, I don't care if you want the advice. I'm going to give it to you. All right. Quote of the day comes your way. Courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi show is brought to you by the John and Heidi show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. It comes your way, courtesy of genesisgoldira.com. Take a listen to this story from Vermont. Search and rescue heroes save 23 lost skiers in a grueling backcountry operation. This could have ended very poorly. Yeah. In a remarkable display of teamwork and dedication, the Killington Police Department, along with the Killington Search and Rescue, successfully rescued 23 skiers who were lost. They were skiers and snowboarders in a challenging backcountry operation that unfolded on January the 20th. The saga began... When they received a distress call at about 2.30 in the afternoon, alerting them to seven to nine individuals who were lost. However, as the officers, in collaboration with the search and rescue team, they delved into the investigation, they found out, well, there's way more than that little group. There's 21 more. Quick decision-making led to the activation of KSAR, the search and rescue team. They mobilized with 12 dedicated members, braving frigid temperatures. The team hiked and and, uh, snowshoed and, and did what they needed to do. Five miles to find the stranded snowboarders and skiers. Their goal was clear. Evaluate the situation and bring everybody back safely. And they were able to do exactly that. The operation, by the way, was a huge success. And uh, there's a lot more details here. I'm not going to read because I don't have time to read it all. But I will tell you, it's all in the show notes for today if you want to see that. Johnandheidyshow.com. And here's what I want to add to this story. When there are conditions like that, when it's really cold out, when Just it's really don't snowy go out, out there. I know it sounds like, oh, what a blast. <laughs> I'm going to go hang out in the cold. Here's an idea. Don't do that. Don't do that. You could be endangering your life. You could be endangering the life of others. I mean, it could turn out horribly, horribly, horribly. If you are going out, make sure you're completely prepared for anything that might arise. And again, luckily, somebody was able to call for help. And they were rescued, they were saved, everything was good. So this one ended very well, but boy, it could have ended horribly. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show.